Hey, this is Rick Casalge, Injury Specialist from ExercisesForInjuries.com. In today's video, I wanted to go through what to do about shoulder pain after your workout. And there's four exercises that you should do. And I'll get Jenna to go through the first one, then I'll go through in detail and I'll show you the other three. Perfect. So it ends up being a shoulder shrug exercise. You, and so you're, you're standing, your, your feet can be together, a little bit separated, you're nice and tall. You're going to shrug the shoulders up, roll them back, and come back down to the start. You know, shrugging them up, rolling them back, coming back to the start. And I'll get you to face this way. Shrugging up, rolling back, and coming back to the start. So, th so there you go, that ends up being the first one. The reason why to do this one is it helps break up tension. So if you have tension in your upper traps, it helps break it up. So we're trying to do like a contract, relax with the upper traps. Also, it helps with the improving your posture. And then thirdly, we're working on activating those muscles around the shoulder blade and in that mid back area. A lot of times those muscles aren't active and that ends up affecting and leading to shoulder pain. Looking at the sets, reps, time and intensity, you should do for that exercise. The sets end up being one, repetitions end up being five. Time, smooth controlled movement with a good stop and, and, and a good contraction at each of the movements. Uh, elevating the shoulders, um, rolling them back, you know, uh, contracting those muscles in between the shoulder blades. Looking at uh, the intensity, we really want to feel a good contra contraction in the upper traps and in the mid back area and around the shoulder blades. Now moving on to the second exercise you should do, T raises against the wall. Okay, perfect. So you've got your upper, you've got your, your head, mid back, and hips up against the wall. Then you're gonna put your upper arm, elbows and forearms up against the wall. And a lot of times just being in this starting position, you'll get a stretch in the, in the shoulders, which is good. Also having your, your head, mid back and hips up against the wall helps you with good postural alignment. Now you're gonna slide those forearms up against the arm, try to bring the hands closer together and that's going to end up working on stretching out throughout the shoulder and working on you know, flexibility and mobility in that shoulder. Perfect. Now looking at the sets, reps, time and intensity for that one, sets are one, you know, repetitions end up being five times smooth controlled movement is relatively slow with a good hold or good stop at the top position, a good second and looking at the intensity with this one, we're looking at it being a postural exercise, helping with alignment with the head, shoulders and hips. Also working on it being a uh, flexibility exercise, you know, stretching out the muscles in the shoulder and also helping when it comes to improving the mobility in that shoulder. So there we go, that ends up being two. Now let's go to the third one, shoulder L's. Perfect. So you're standing nice and upright, uh, you know, legs are underneath the hips, toes are pointing straight ahead. You're nice and tall in the head, shoulders, uh, and the hips. You've, and then you end up having a rotating in the shoulder. Good. So one hand up, one hand down, and just rotating through that shoulder, alternating back and forth, working on the flexibility and mobility in that in the shoulders. Perfect. Looking at the sets, reps, time and intensity of that one, sets end up being one. Repetitions, uh, I would go five each way. Time, smooth controlled movement with a good stop at the end position. Uh, intensity is light because we're working on flexibility and mobility in the shoulder. Now moving on to the fourth one. With this one, we utilize some sort of resistive band. Jenna's gonna use this green band and she'll go through the three direction uh, band pull. Okay, perfect. So you're starting off, you know, nice, you know, standing nice and tall, uh, head, shoulders, and hips 
are all in good alignment. You have the resistive tubing. The more of the tubing you grab, the more challenging it'll end up being. Uh, arms are just below shoulder height. And now you're gonna separate the fists, really working on that mid-back, doing the exercise, coming back to the middle, now moving to like a 45 degree angle, separating the fists, resisting them back, moving to the other 45, and separating and coming back, perfect. So with this one, sets, reps, time, and intensity, sets end up being one. Repetition, you, you wanna go through five of each of the positions. So um, separating the hands, 45, other 45, that is one repetition. Time, smooth controlled movement with a good stop at the end position. The intensity, intensity ends up being uh, moderate. We're really targeting uh, we're really targeting the muscles in the mid back, you know, rhomboids, uh, middle fibers of trapezius. We want to decrease how much activity we have in the upper traps, and we're also working the muscles around the shoulder blade. So there you go. That th those end up being four ac great exercises to do if you have shoulder pain. Uh, after your workout. Give those a go. Now, if you want some of my other best tips and tricks when it relates to overcoming shoulder pain, then what I recommend you do is click right here. I have a brand new free report called Five Tricks That Fight Shoulder Pain and Tightness. Just click right here. Let me know where to send that report and I'll send you that report right away. Now, if you're watching this on a mobile device, tablet, or smartphone, head down below in the description and click the first link, which will end up being exercisesforinjuries.com forward slash shoulders. Um, also, if you got benefit from this video, make sure to like this video. If you have a question or comment for me, leave it down below in the comment section. And lastly, hit subscribe if you want future pain relieving videos.